Hey everybody, John here with Wiki Game Guides, back with Danielson. Explicit Dan. Explicit D's Nuts, who's getting violent, violent, sexy ass sex messages right now. Oh yeah, um, I'll save that for another time. Hmm, another drink long. Anyway, so this is another uh, multiplayer video of Toy Soldiers War Chest from the preview event where you got to go out to San Francisco to play a little bit of a demo of this game. The yeah. one on, this is one-on-one -on -one multiplayer. There's also a two-on-two -two that you didn't get to play. Uh, but tell us about how this multiplayer works and then tell us about how the different uh, toy classes work within this game. All right, so right now I'm just preparing my defenses. He's preparing his offense. So he's choosing to send infantry and I'm choosing to build anti-infantry. I don't know what he's choosing except that we both have no money. So it's kind of an easy choice. At the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this game has several different um, toy licenses. Mm -hmm. So you're playing as Phantom right now? Several He's different playing armies. playing as G.I. Joe. Yes. Uh, in one of the other videos, you're playing as He-Man. There's Starbright. Uh, what were some of the other ones that you I got to? I think the rest are secret. The rest are secret still? And you got to see the secret ones, but we could, we can't show video of it yet, unfortunately. But there are some... Uh, uh, there's one name that really fucking caught me by surprise. I probably shouldn't swear because this is an E for everybody. Probably, most likely. Yeah. Um, nuts. Um, anyway, there's one license that really surprised me. It's going to really interest me for this game. Um, just because I was kind of like, oh my god. Good That's job. a crazy Good license. Good job, Ubisoft. Um, but then there was another one that was like, yeah, of course. Uh, All right, so anyway. I feel like, so I'm 29, <laughs> and I feel like G.I. Joe is a little bit older than me. Okay. Like, I feel I like agree. if you were born, yeah. you know, between like... 80 and 85. Yeah, or like 77 and 83. Mm -hmm. You like G.I. Joe's and He-Man. But mm -hmm. we were post-He-Man. It's like... We were Ninja Turtles mainly. And Ghostbusters. And Ghostbusters. Yeah. And like the kids who were born at, right after us were kind of um, Power Rangers kids. It's Power Rangers are so lame. But I'm, I'm sure Ninja like... Turtles are so lame. No, but Ninja, Ninja Turtles are still around. They're kind of like re rebirthed. Yeah. And then SpongeBob and Rugrats. So but... Power Rangers <laughs> is up for rebirth next. Ugh. Power Rangers. Anyway. Oh, you mean for like anyway? So like, oh, yeah. uh, Talk about I don't know. I feel like I wish it had Ninja Turtles instead of GI Joe. Yeah, that's a pretty nitpicky thing. Well, okay, of the licenses. Okay, I would say of the licenses, I never owned any of those toys. Of the ones you got to play in the game. Yeah, so mm, I'm sure this will have a lot more nostalgia. So tell for me, other people. Tell me about going on the offense right now. What are you doing? You just uh, chose. So you get like four rounds to choose. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess the rock paper scissors aspect of the game is he doesn't know what you're choosing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think infantry was. I wasn't looking at the screen just now, but I think infantry was like free. Okay. So you do okay. like maybe like three rounds of infantry and throw some tanks at the end, or. And so because you went second or you play defense first, you probably have a little bit of an advantage because... A little more cash. You have a little bit more cash to spend on your first attacking wave, whereas he doesn't really have any options. Right. So He's now I am playing in first-person view, as, or third-person view, as the hero's toy. Mm -hmm. And just um, sniping the hell out of that turret. Yeah. So he probably doesn't... This is both of our first time playing, so he probably doesn't mm -hmm. even know why that turret blew up yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is a lot of fun playing as the super toy. It looks it looks like it's fun, but it looks like it can get a little dull, except he saw you there, so now he knows to look for you. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a kind of cat and mouse thing where he's So Whoa. he has killed me. He killed you in one shot. Yeah. You just so got blasted. That hero will respawn in 25 seconds. In 25, okay, but uh, now this ended up hurting you a lot towards the end, and you're not going to really show it off right now, but... You can also control your turrets while on offense. Yeah. Tell, so tell us about you can how hop into any turret. So if you get one of the... I forget which one it is, but basically one of the turrets shoots like long-range missiles. You can use your turrets to destroy his buildings while he's not paying attention. His turrets. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it, it sounded like a mortar from the way that you described it before. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so he killed your 56 units. And you did 24 damage. So I did You're really right good, now. yeah. Yeah. But you also had the second mover advantage, right. I guess. Um, so now I'm preparing my defenses, and I have mm-hmm. to decide. You saw me building at the end there. Mm-hmm. Like, you can build defense Any, while you're on offense. Anytime. Can you upgrade the turrets? Yeah. Like a traditional tower defense game? Yeah. Make them have more health, do out, deal out more damage kind of thing? Yeah. And so you'll notice some of the turret spots, all the turret spots are predefined. Oh, and they have their little radius of attack, and you can upgrade And them. some of them are like the little circles, and some of them are big squares. Mm-hmm. The big squares... Um, have turrets that are only supported on big squares. So like a big square oh, can right. support so that, that, all four. The circle mm, can only support the first two. Got it. So the guy firing down the middle, you can't have like the most deadly turret right there. Right. Essentially, it's what that's that's limiting you to. Okay. And so each of the toy armies has unique buildings and characters. Mm-hmm. However, they basically, I mean, while they vary in like. One's shooting bubbles, and maybe the reload times are different. Mm-hmm. They do follow the same formula of anti-infantry, anti-vehicle, anti-air. Mm-hmm. So it's not oh, a huge difference between classes. Yeah, so I need to figure out which, um, which, which thing gets tanks. Yeah. Now, your, your other turrets are on autopilot, essentially. Like, yeah. They're just doing everything they can to take these guys out. Yeah. Now, uh, can you, when you're on offense, can you go first person on the infantry that's just rolling in, that's just kind of pathing its way through? Mm-hmm. You can. Like, you can control one of those tanks. Oh, no, you only control the hero. The hero, okay. And that has a respawn timer if you die right away. Yeah. Okay. So he's getting some damage done to it now. So damage is only done when an enemy makes it all the way to the end it's not like you can yeah. shoot so your toy box at the end there mm-hmm. if they penetrate your toy box oh if they we, we, I'm if getting, your box gets penetrated slower baby then uh-huh. <laughs> damage is done oh wrap it up irreparable damage oh. so you can see that bridge in the middle is now yeah chunked it's, out it's kind of destroyed the, so yeah. how does that work like so, what what advantage does that give one side or the other well once it's totally gone, you can just shoot... Turrets can just shoot straight at each other. Oh. Oh, so they're just, like, blasting each other in the face. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And you spent a lot of money, so you don't have a ton of other... You, you don't have a ton of infantry to buy. Yes. Yeah, so I spent the rest of my money. I have 100 bucks left. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So if I spent more money on turrets that I could use offensively... That would probably be a better use of money than waves. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, this is almost like... Have you... Well, how into chess did you get, like, when you were a kid? Not as much as I got into Hero Academy as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I never got very much into chess as a kid either, but... um. Have you ever seen the values of chess pieces? No. Like, they're, like, you know, for chess beginners, essentially, like, every chess piece has a number value. You know, pawns are 1, queens are 15, Mm. and everything else kind of falls in between. And knowing that kind of hierarchy, like, where the trade-offs are... We'll just make it easy. We'll just make it easy. Does it help your decision-making process? Absolutely. So, uh, to me, the way that this is kind of, like... Um, shaking down is like, oh, what's the value of this? What's the value of that? And like, especially at what point in the game? Yeah, and you're, you're still trying to figure that out at this point. Or I was. Oh, obviously. I, mean, I don't know is, anything. This is your first multiplayer game. How <laughs> could you possibly know? But like, that's kind of like my long-term thinking. Like, if you knew everything there was to know about this game, you would know what the value of all the different units yes. are. So I was talking to one of the developers. Mm-hmm. About difficulty of the game, uh-huh. and they said a little bit closer. Some of the to your cock, yeah, uh, talk <laughs> an average cock length away from the microphone. Oh, so a lot closer. 
average cock length. And <laughs> right. Not your cock length. <laughs> a average, lot closer. Average cock length. I mean, so, average has to be smaller than mine. So less than four inches. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Not, I not know, my cock length. Even, what were we talking about? Average Jesus. cock length. Uh, penetrating toy boxes. I'm so confused. Uh, difficulties. Oh, yeah. Talking to the developer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, so they said a lot of the stuff in the single player was kind of upgraded for us to see more of the stuff. And that uh, so they are more, still working on more turrets economy were balance mm-hmm. and difficulty balance. Oh, so those so like this isn't things. The stuff you're seeing isn't necessarily set. Like, costs of turrets, mm-hmm. costs of waves... Mm -hmm. All of that stuff. So it looks like you're blasting his turret there for a second. You might not have even known it. Because I saw his turret taking damage there, even though you were shooting tanks. So what were your favorite guns to use? Because in some of the other trailers, I saw, like, uh, you know, using mortars to kind of line up along a rate, like, you know, like a mortar in Gears of War almost. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Where it's got the kind of... Mm, hash marks all along. Yeah, and you have to judge the range. Yeah. Versus just shooting, you know, straight in front of you. Um, well, I mean, visually, my favorite guns were probably Star Brights. <laughs> just because they were. Oh, they're like the bubbles. Right? Well, it's like, you know, uh, Phantom and G.I. Joe are obviously like military based franchises. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, Starbright's not really military. So, like, you've got this one where it's, um, you're using, like, mirrors to blast sunlight at things. <laughs> and so, like, there's these fairies, like, adjusting the mirrors. And it's cool to watch. Okay. Um, so, like, her- hers were the most fun weapons. Just, they were just creative, I okay. guess. Um, and fun to watch. But I'm sure that, you know, for long term players, of or like getting into the strategy, don't really care about so much. Right. Uh, so, <clears throat> talk a little bit more. You, you touched on this already, but talk a little bit more about the differences between the classes. Like you said that one hero may have slower reload time and more damage versus the other way around. Did you notice? Like one class being significantly stronger than another, or like one one toy class rather being like significantly stronger than the other, or like, well, like one just being more fun, or like significant, you know, like oh this guy, this one unit that this one guy made just couldn't be dealt with, kind of thing. So Phantom was fun because mm-hmm. the hero as. This is the I'm playing as right now. Mm-hmm. The hero has that kind of long range weaponry. The sniper. Whereas when you're He Man mm-hmm. and you become He Man, He Man, he carries a sword or an axe. Oh. I mean, he can throw grenades, but you're basically a melee character. Oh. And you're running up and you know killing stuff. So in multiplayer, where the other person is much more likely to target He-Man because they know that that's you. He-Man might not be very strong, but in uh, you versus AI, where the turrets may be too stupid to target uh, you the, just, the person that's running out in the field and attacking the base of a turret, Yeah, uh, that He-Man might be the best person. Or he might be really good at anti-infantry. Um, or anti-tank. Mm-hmm. Like, if... Say you're a melee guy, mm-hmm. you're awesome in your own base. But you can't be anti-tank when you're on offense, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. I didn't think about that. Because yeah. he's only sending tanks when he's on offense, and you That's can't true. be He-Man when you're on offense. Right. Or hmm. when, when you're on defense. That's a good point. Didn't think of that. So yeah, I don't know. He-Man might not be a great multiplayer character. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah. This Can is all you- speculation. Yeah, and obviously they're going to tweak a lot of these things. I, I, I was just kind of curious about, like, oh, like, I mean, I love He-Man. Say, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's a stupid thing. But uh, I said, hey, what's going on? But, they're like, he might not be the best character. Right. For his Jai Joe, maybe freaking awesome. Uh, anything else you wanted to add before we wrap this bad boy up? 
No, I mean, there's my last attempt. You can see some anti or some air stuff coming in. He's got anti air, so mm-hmm. that was it for me. Uh, oh, I guess we'll. Uh, oh, so yeah, he's got like dropships flying in. I do. Oh, those are your dropships flying in. Oh, but he's got the anti air. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, your guys look a lot like his guys, whereas, like, the Starbright. Oh, yeah. Look, you know, they're bright pink and they're unicorns and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's a little bit. Uh, a little bit more interesting. So I gave it a valiant effort. You know what else Ubisoft emailed me uh, yesterday? What's that? That we should play as soon as we're done recording this. Hmm. Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max. You have that game? I have a code for it. Hell yeah. All right. Let's do some backflip drink along. Oh, oh, no. Yes. Is it What system is it on? PlayStation. So I have two controllers. Okay. Well, might might have to do it when it's not so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just take off all your clothes. Oh, okay. It's getting really gay in here. Well, on that note. On that note, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more Toy Soldiers. War Chest. I keep wanting to say Future Warfare, which is not right. War Chest. <laughs> uh, game Black videos. Black Ops. And, you know, strategy videos when the game eventually comes out. Game on. Game on. <laughs>